angle properties of a circle. We have seen various parts of a circle that is chords, arcs, sectors and segments. Angles in the same segment. Consider the figure below. AB is a chord. It divides the circle into two segments. That is APB, which is the minor segment, and AQB, which is the major segment. AB subtends angle X and Y on the circumference of the circle. Angles X and Y are always equal. In general, a chord of a circle subtends equal angles on the circumference of the circle on the same segment. Equal chords or arcs. Consider the figure below. AB is equal to CD. Angle M is equal to angle N. In general, equal chords or arcs subtend equal angles on the circumference of the circle. For example, find angle S and R in the figure below. In our solution, join Q to R to make chord QR. The chord QR subtends angle P as well as angle S. Hence, angle S is 30 degrees. Angle SXR is 80 degrees from the direct opposite to angle PXQ. Thus, angle R is equal to 180 minus 80 plus 30, which are the angles of a triangle, and R is 70 degrees. Angles in a semicircle. PQ from the figure is a diameter of the circle. It subtends angles M, N, and R on the circumference. All these angles are 90 degrees. Generally, all angles subtended by the diameter are right angled. Angles at the center and the circumference. Consider the figure below. PQ is a chord. PQ subtends angle O at the center and angle R on the circumference. Angle R is equal to a half angle O. That is, if O is 80 degrees, R is 40 degrees. Generally, the angle subtended on the circumference of a circle by a chord is half the angle subtended at the center of the circle by the same chord. For example, 
AB is a diameter. O is the center of the circle. Angle B is equal to 25 degrees. Find angles A, B, C, and X. In our solution, taking AC to be a chord, it subtends angle X at the center and angle B on the circumference. Therefore, if B is 25, then X is 50 degrees. Meaning, angle Z is equal to 180 minus 50, which is equal to 130, that is angles on a straight line. It follows that angle Y is equal to 180 minus 130 plus 25 angles of a triangle, which is 25 degrees. If AB is a diameter, then angle BCA is 90 degrees. Hence, if Y is 25 degrees, then angle C is 90 minus 25, which is 65. Angle A can be obtained in two ways. One, if angle C is 65 and angle X is 50, then angle A is 180 minus 65 plus 50, which is 65. That is total angles of a triangle. Taking BC to be a chord, it subtends angle Z at the center and angle A on the circumference. If angle Z is 130 degrees, then angle A is a half of 130, which is 65 degrees. Cyclic quadrilateral. A cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral whose vertices lie on the circumference of a circle. Angle X and Y are supplementary. They sum up to 180. Equally, angle M and angle N are supplementary. Generally, opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Exterior and interior angles. Angle Q and angle P are interior angles. Angle R and angle S are exterior angles. Exterior angle S is opposite to interior angle Q. Equally, exterior angle R is opposite to interior angle P. Angle S is equal to angle Q and angle R is equal to angle P. Generally, an exterior angle is equal to the opposite interior angle. Example, find the missing angles. Angle Z is 50 degrees. That is, interior angle is equal to opposite exterior. Angle Y is 180 minus 80, which is 100. That is opposite angles of a quadrilateral. Angle M is 80 degrees. Exterior angles is equal to interior opposite angle. And finally, 
angle X is 180 minus 80 plus 50, which is 50, from the fact that it is the sum total of angles of a triangle. If you want to go on and major in math or do honors in math or take, do a career in math, you really do need to be good at it. But I think too many people stop it too soon because they've had bad experiences. I think that, and I think math teachers have a lot of responsibility for that. We haven't taught it so well. We haven't provided the resources that people need. And so I think if you need help, you need to get it and you need to get it early. Uh, and you need to work at it.